Tonight at 7.30, we will start our summer series called Jesus Cover to Cover. We're going to look at the story of Scripture from Genesis to Revelation and see how everything in Scripture points us to Jesus. When I was a child, I learned the story of the Ten Commandments. I learned the Ten Commandments, you know, with the little hand motions and everything. And I learned about Moses coming down from the mountain and smashing the commandments out of the anger uh, over the people's idolatry. I learned that the Ten Commandments were, were God's moral law and, and that uh, they were a good rule of law and that, and that Christians and, and people should try to obey the Ten Commandments. What no one ever really explained to me until later in life was that the Ten Commandments, the law in general, was actually given to, yes, teach us how God desires us to live, but more specifically, show us that no matter how hard we try to obey God and live righteously, uh, we will fail. We will break God's law. We are not righteous. And that at that moment, when we recognize our failure, when we recognize our inability to be righteous, at that moment, we would be drawn to Jesus, who did live righteously, who died in our place, and who gives us his righteousness. I pray as a dad, I don't simply teach my kids or talk to others about the, the Ten Commandments or, or other parts of the Scripture and, and, and really just give a, a biblical principle or a moral guide, but that in all of those elements, I point them to Jesus. But I don't simply say, this is how you need to live your life. I actually also say, this is how God desires us to live, but we are unable to. We will always fall short. We will always break God's law. This is God's ideal for us. But we will always break God's law. And that is exactly why he sent Jesus to die for us. So when you fail, don't be lost in your guilt because you broke the law. Turn to Jesus who came and paid for your guilt and paid for your sin and has given you his righteousness. What a, what a tragedy it would be if, if too many of us just looked at scripture and got you know, some helpful tips and some, some moral guidelines and principles to live by, but we never really understood how it points us to Jesus Christ. That somebody someday could, could have a, a very moral life and, and maybe even keep most of the commandments, but never really come to know Jesus. You see, all the scripture was given to drive us to Jesus, and that's what we aim to do in this study. We're going to go from about 7.30 to 8.15. We'll be live in the youth chapel if you can join us. And if you're still at home, we will also have a Zoom link where you can join us online. But we'd love for you to participate and hope to see you tonight.